Okay, I like I do like it. I like it a lot. Oh girl. Oh girl. cardstock for um, what, I, what I will be doing for this DIY. You don't have to necessarily get all sort of spectrums of the cardstock, but if you want to, you definitely can. I just have lots of different types of people coming to this bachelorette party, and I want to feel all inclusive. And also, I'm not a big fan on doing pure white for a skin tone, um, so we'll probably leave that one out. But anything that's like a natural shade that a person would come in in this beautiful world we call Earth is what I have uh, gathered here for this party. Another thing that you will need is some stamps to mail off your envelopes. Sorry, I had to grab my invitation envelopes. You're going to need some stamps for your envelopes and you're going, you're going to need some invitation envelopes. This will also determine what size you need to make your invitations so that they do fit properly within the envelope. Um, so those are always a good thing to grab beforehand so you don't make them too big or too small. Um, you're also going to need some sort of tape. I also have glue, E6000. That's kind of overkill for this project, but if you have that and not tape for some reason, you can always use it. You're going to need some scissors. I also have some embellishments. I have some tiny little bows and some... You're also going to need some thin ribbon for the edging of your DIY. Also, like it's optional, but I grabbed it for mine. You're going to need some other sorts of cardstock. Mine is in this beautiful pattern. Let me bring it up close so you can see it some more. I have some cardstock in various different patterns. For me, I am making it with underwear, so these are all really cute panties and bra sorts of designs, at least in my mind. You can do whatever you want. It can be solid colors. It could be all one color. It could be stripes. It can be all polka dots. It's whatever you want. I got this from Hobby Lobby for $6.99. I probably spent around $25 to make my invitations, um, including everything. I did have a few things on hand, so it's just whatever you wanted to, to do, what's on sale, and, um, you know, which what you just want to end up doing with it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so for these invitations, you don't want to go bigger than your envelope size. Mine are invitation envelopes. And as you can see, they're 4.7 by 6.5 inches. And then there it is in centimeters for anybody that's not in the US watching this lovely little tutorial. Um, and then, of course, I pulled out a sheet so I could have it just to make sure that everything is correct in its sizing. We're going to start by picking out one of our colors. I think I like this color a little bit more. I mean, both tones are really good for skin. But I think I'm going to start off with this. And then it is double-sided. That's the good news. 
After picking out your paper, take your envelope and line it up to the corner of your paper. Cut it next to the outside edge of the envelope and trace around it to get the most accurate size for your card. I'm going to go ahead and trace it around the envelope with this pencil. Then just cut it out along the line. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. If you wanted to, you can just continue to cut this out and then use it as a flat template for every single piece of paper you would need for this. So it looks like I could probably get like a good three or four pieces out of this one um, blocky piece. I did have to cut an extra little strip off the side to make it fit correctly, but just make sure when you do it, you measure um, at least the exact size of the envelope and then cut down um, just a little itty bitty bit that you would need to get it to fit snugly and not warp the, the envelope or just not fit at all because you don't want to have it too small then it will look a little silly. Okay now that we have our piece of paper set to the side we have to decide on what we want our card to be. Mine is going to be shaped like a heart It'll be a booty and a pair of breasts, as mine are going to be bra and underwear themed for this bachelorette. But um, So you just need to decide on what you want to do, particularly for your invitation. But um, I'm going to be doing a butt. <laughs> so a good way to do the booty of your invitation, a good way to do like a booty or a, or a, a bust for your invitation would to be to fold it in half. I didn't crease it, but to fold the paper in half lightly and then to snip around the edges so everything stays uniform. Now I've already lined it up and started to cut. Um, unfortunately my camera shut off while I was doing that. Folds together and then start cutting and so it will be uniform and you don't have a lopsided pair of breasts or pair of buttocks. If you do, that just means it's more authentic to real life. But you know, at the same time, I would rather my, my little booty I'm sending out to everybody be symmetrical. So I just took my scissors and I cut accordingly. I rounded off my edges as much as possible. And then you actually leave the bottom piece flat. Repeat until you have as many template booty bus cards as possible. So this one's going to be a booty and it's actually shaped like this. <laughs> I had mine upside down. Sorry, I had my booty, my booty upside down. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so we're going to begin with decoration. This is where your pattern or your other solid colors um, paper comes into play. I'm going to go ahead and open this and pick out which one I would like for this particular booty to be wearing. Now for this type of paper, it's actually double sided. So one side is flowers and the other side is metallic stripes. I actually really like these flowers. So that's the one I'm going to go with for this particular, um, pair of underwear. This is very underwear ish. So I think it's perfect. We're just like before, we're going to trace out the design. This time, my camera is going, so we'll actually be able to see my method for it. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it up um, onto your booty, and then you're just going to trace the around the booty so you have a template of the template. <laughs> you have a template of a template on your template. So just go ahead and just trace the little butt. So now if you can't see, I have the butt traced out at the top. That way there is no second guessing myself and understanding where I'm coming from when I start to trace this out. But you're going to just trace like a regular panty underwear shape onto this piece of paper. And how you're going to do that is you'll come, I'm sorry, you'll come down and make a triangle. Oh, I think I like that more. So I started to just do like a straight triangle. But then I came down here and I moved up with it and I did a, a little curve so it's hanging on the cheek a little more. So it actually seems like it's a part of the body of the, of the booty. That's why you use a pencil because you need to be able to erase. You could also have used the other side. If this was the same side on or the same pattern on both sides, it really wouldn't matter which side you use. But if you have double sided paper like I do. Um, 
it probably would be better to trace it on the other side. I'll do that for the next one. Just trial and error. We're, we're figuring this out as we go. As you can see, I cut out my little underwear and it's pretty much where I would like it to be on both sides. It's got its symmetrical little self and it lines up with the underwear and its curves line up with the little booty because we did go ahead and make sure to cut it out. We made sure to use our template to make our template. <laughs> And uh, this is how it came out. This is really cute so far. So it doesn't seem like, it seems like way high-waisted. So what I want to do to offset that weird triangle is actually use some lace for the trim. Now I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I was thinking between E6000 and Scotch tape for this, but I think I'm going to use E6000 glue. So I went ahead and put some glue on my little underwear. Isn't that cute? That's still cute even on this side. And it's okay if a little glue spills out for the simple fact that um, I'm going to be adding lace. If you're not adding la a lace, then it's still not a big deal if a little glue spills out. I think it should dry clear. Isn't that just so precious? Okay, so now we're going to need our ribbon. Actually, I think I'm going to cut my ribbon in half. I don't really like how thick it is, but I like this border, so I'm going to cut it in half. Well, actually, I cut one strip out and then I cut it in half. And now I'm going to add the lace. Oh, that's precious. I love it. Okay, so I have a little bit excess, but that was done on purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and add glue. I'm actually going to add glue right around here and then just kind of form it into there. It's coming along. It looks really awesome. Like it looks like underwear. So yeah, definitely go and spring some like ribbon. This was a dollar. One. Okay, so now for the bra. I took a corner of the paper and I lined it up with the bust middle um, and just kind of fit it to where it would look proper and I cut out that section, repeated it with the other side. So now I have two and then for the straps I have one long piece to go from the side up and then one small piece I cut in half to go from the corner to meet at this strap when it is laid down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's going to look like, as uh, how it looks when you do it on the other side. First you're going to want to glue down the other bra side. So I think that looks really cool. Whenever I was doing the strap, I have one portion that goes across the top and then one that comes to the side and then they'll overlap and then I have this in the middle. So I'll just press this one on and this is really cute. But I will be back with all my different designs um, in just a moment. to make um, but the simple fact that I've just been really busy trying to get everything ready for the bachelorette party and this can be really time consuming. I made about 15 invitations. Um, it wouldn't have taken me as long had I not had so many girls to invite. Also it wouldn't have taken me as long had I had um, not started so late the first day. I started very late the first day. Um, and then I didn't get to work the day after that. I had to meet up with someone and then the, the last day was the brunt of the work and I got pretty much all of it done. So 
Now there's not really anything on the back. I'm still not completely finished, um, but I have written out um, at least two things and I can't show you one of them because uh, it has all like in my information and the party information on it, but I can show you the back of this one. Um, uh, what's really cute is what would be really cute to do with your invitation is put some sort of saying that goes along with your your theme. So mine are bras and panties, so obviously it's boobs and butts. So you can be very raunchy with it. You can be kind of classy with it. It's a bachelorette party, so I kind of went bold. Um, one of them it says get your booty to the party, except for it doesn't say booty. And then the next one says calm your uh, it's time to party and of course that is they're both really funny I believe and I think that the girls that are going to be invited are going to find it uh, humorous and they're going to think the overall um, end result was really sweet too so I mean so that's everything <laughs> I don't have anything more to say um, if you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus. And I'll see you guys in the next one, whatever I make. Bye bye.